Yeah, so this is pretty much, you know, uh, how uh, I can try to, you know, uh, help the student, help your kids. Uh, first, I will guide your study. Uh, not only the knowledge, not only the problem solving skills, uh, but more important is, you know, the time, the, the timeline. So, for example, this is very specific. For example, you are a sophomore, I will give you a kind of a slight different way compared to if you are a junior, right? And what is the right time to do the right thing? Uh, definitely, if you are a junior, it will be save you a lot of time. Uh, so I know a lot of students, they are kind of very independent students. They did a lot of research, you know, in Google, in different platforms, different forums, right? And they finally, they are kind of an expert in competition. But I really do not think this is something they should do. They should focus on, you know, preparing the competition and not, rather than, you know, taking the time to find what is the best textbook, what is, you know, some good problems to practice at this moment, what is, you know, the, the problems they need to do in the next stage. So this is something the teacher, the coach should finish. So, and next, chemistry competition definitely can be studied, you know, by the student themselves. But typically, if they read the books, their understanding is not so deep. You need to have someone to help you deepen your understanding. And as I mentioned, in the grading, is very important. You finish the problem set, right? You, you did a mock test, you need to have someone to check your, your stuff, to grade your stuff, to let you know what are the details you need to pay attention. So I can also help you to analyze your strengths and I think many weakness, right? Uh, this is how you improve yourself. And uh, if, if students are from my website, so probably you already saw a lot of, you know, uh, I think very useful resources for my website, like uh, the YouTube videos. And you probably know I'm an expert in descriptive chemistry and organic chemistry. So I definitely can help you the most uh, in preparing, you know, the most challenging part in the, in the exam. Yeah, so basically, you know, uh, this is a very brief introduction of my uh, online class. It will start from uh, the coming Sunday, uh, 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern time. So I'm expecting students to have a strong, a solid background in algebra and at least one year of honor scan or equivalence. Uh, if you kind of self-studied in honor scan, it, sh it should be okay. But if you are taking AP CAN right now or you took it last year, it will be even better. Uh, it, it will not be kind of overqualified. No, no. So different level of students can get different, you know, uh, in a different way to from my, my class. You, if you have a stronger background, you probably will gain more. Uh, but that doesn't mean if you do not have a, a kind of, if you only have one year of honor scan, it should be a kind of a good entry level. Uh, so you will cover all of the 10 topics in both local and the national exam. Uh, yeah, this is very important. Uh, in the past two years, I organized, you know, the spring camp to help the students to prepare the national exam. So based on their feedback, they all mentioned, wow, I learned a lot. You know, I never learned, you know, chemistry in such an in-depth way. But not everyone did an excellent job in the national exam. That's because, you know, it might be a little bit too late. So they didn't learn those stuff in a systematic way. So this is why, starting from this year, I changed my mind. I want to, you know, start a little bit earlier to try to train the student, you know, from the beginning by using my own style and my own way to really, you know, build a strong and systematic foundation. Uh, yeah, we'll have kind of weekly two hours of live online sessions and it will be combined with uh, lecture notes I will show you later and problem sets, as I mentioned, it will be graded by me. Uh, hopefully the class will be not too big. Uh, I'm expecting, you know, a number kind of less than 10 students. Uh, yeah, so we'll have a kind of seasonal uh, mock test. It will also be graded and also it will be analyzed. So I will also offer the office hour after class. Uh, I'm, also, I'm still thinking about 
whether Google Classroom is the best platform or is the Discord server. Uh, we will see. Uh, I will discuss with the student after the first class to see what is the most practical way uh, for them. And I will invite a chair group to join us. And most of them are really top uh, award winner in the USNCO. Um, I have a few campers, uh, a actual gold medal, and a few other students. They are all my students. Uh, so they are willing to you know, support my class and help the students. Uh, yeah, here is kind of, you know, uh, some feedback from the uh, spring camp uh, in 2017 and 2018. So I, I, I don't think I need to read it, you know, from the beginning to the end. Uh, you can, you know, have a quick look. So most of, I should say, all of the feedback are positive. I even didn't, you know, pick up and as a kind of copy the whole page, everything. So if you probably you know see a, a few keywords repeated several times uh in depth uh very helpful learned a lot and you know descriptive chemistry is very useful yeah something like that so this is the the, the schedule uh starting from the coming sunday uh the first season will end up november 29th um, this is the first season, so I will mainly cover the structural parts. So like, let me see, one, two, three, four, probably four uh, topics. Atomic structures and the periodicity, which is here. And then molecular structures and the chemical bonding, which is here. And then phase change, gases, liquids, solid which is here uh, hopefully if we have some time left because you know my pace will be slightly uh, revised based on the feedback from the students so hopefully we'll have some time to talk about the stoichiometry and some introduction to the descriptive chemistry because descriptive chemistry is really a a long time process to prepare is not you know i give one class and you answer everything so we try to build you know from the beginning and then build it step by step so after a one semester or a whole school year hopefully everyone should have a strong background in these parts so this is kind of the fourth topic so season one will mainly cover four topics out of ten and then season two we are going to talk about the, the other few, like thermodynamics, uh, kinetics, uh, equilibrium, uh, organic chemistry, redox and the electrochemistry, and then that's pretty much everything. Uh, that will be done by the end of February or early March, and then I will offer a few, probably free uh, lessons for students to really prepare for the local and the national exam. Uh, so that is kind of my uh, plan at this moment, but we definitely can, you know, change it based on the need, the feedback from the students. Oh, yeah, parents ask about, you know, is there any recording? Yes, uh, I will record all of the online lessons, but I strongly, you know, recommend students to take all of them online rather than kind of watching it you know offline uh, why because i really you know appreciate the the interactive communication with the students right so if we start the online class i have to say i will not accept something like this everyone you know turn their camera off no i'm sorry if you're doing this way i have to kick you out and yeah. i will refund you so we, we need to, you know, make it into a interactive, you know, communication. But if you do uh, have something unexpected, special, let me know in, the, in advance. Uh, and uh, I accept, you know, up to three kind of recorded lessons, so which means you can request up to three, you know, lessons. I, I think it's kind of fair number. So if this time really doesn't work for you, either we can, you know, further discuss what the best time, but probably it's very hard. Or maybe this is not the, the, the right class for you at this moment. So yeah, this is a, 
I, I can call it a four year course, but you know, we start from September, we pretty much will end at late April because late April is the national competition, which is pretty much the ending for most students in this school year, right? Because after April, only 20 students will have, we will have to work for the next step. So that is, is not, you know, the majority of the, the student group. Uh, unfortunately, I do not, you know, I do not have the time to offer the honor scan or AP can. So if you have at least one year of preparation, this should be a, a good level for you. Oh, by the way, yeah, I want to briefly show you my lecture notes. So as you can see, uh, I just want to, you know, briefly show you, this is kind of the results of at least five years of accumulation in my school uh, when I kind of coach the camp team. So we, I kind of revise this lecture notes every year. So try to make it easier for students to follow, uh, easier for them to self-study after class and before class, after, you know, easier for them to review after class and, you know, uh, and try to make sure it covers all of the most important and challenging, you know, topics in the exam. So this is already my maybe 10th edition or even more than that. So this is the first lecture note, uh, which will cover the first three classes. As you can see, it's about 20 pages. And then this is the problem set one. So it, it, it includes different level of questions. Uh, in the end, I also, you know, add some questions from the uh, other countries exam. For example, uh, the CEE, this is the question I translated from the college entrance exam in China. <laughs> so they are pretty good questions. Uh, CCHO, that is the Chinese Chemistry Olympia, uh, the Taiwan Chemistry Olympia. Uh, the KCHO, the Korean Chemistry Olympia. So this is kind of my hobby, you know, to uh, look into the Chemistry Olympia, you know, uh, in different countries and find some good questions and to put it in. Obviously, I do not understand Korean. I even do not speak Korean at all. So uh, I should thank, you know, Google. And also I got some support from a, a Korean colleague, you know, in my school. Uh, the UK Chemistry Olympia. So, uh, most of the questions definitely are from the English speaking countries. Um, they do have a lot of good questions uh, which can uh, support the USANCO. Uh, but you know, you probably see there are a few others I translated from the other countries. Uh, I'm sorry, it seems like I used too much time. <laughs> I didn't realize I, I, I kind of finished my part, you know, pretty much 40 minutes. Uh, yeah, right now is the is your time. Uh, let me know if you have any question. Uh, you can either type your question in the chat box or you can directly ask. Probably since we do not have so many people here, it's rather easy for you to ask directly. And if you have a question, you know, after the class, feel free to contact me, you know, by using this email. Uh, I also, you know, put the QR code and the link for you to register, you know, my class uh, here. So you can use your cell phone to scan the QR code and quickly you know, finish a survey. And then Alex and I will you know, further contact you. Yeah, I'm open to answer any question you have regarding you know, the USNCO itself, uh, the study strategies, and my, my class. And even if you decide you know, maybe uh, not to take my class, it's also fine for you to further contact me, okay? Uh, let me see. Okay, I got a question. Kind of how much time students need to uh, input for each problem set? Uh, let me briefly show you. So there are in total around kind of 10 to 15 
uh, written questions in total for each of problem sets. So this is the work that needs to be done for three weeks. So I would like to expect kind of one to two hours each week, including the time to finish the problem set and also the time to review you know, the lecture notes. Uh, probably it also requires some time for students to read the book. So, you know, the time question is really, it really varies because different students have different style. They have different you know, uh, uh, learning, you know, uh, strategy. So I cannot really give you a universal answer, but from my perspective, after taking the online class, averagely two hours per week should be expected for you to, you know, uh, be prepared for the local and the national power. Uh, but if you have more time, definitely, uh, I, I would like to see, you know, you can put more time here, but, you know, considering the total time is limited, I think two hours is a kind of fair and number. Uh, let me have a look at the other questions. Uh, if you do not have a camera uh, on your desktop computer, there is an easy way. I, I, I can talk with you later about this. You can use your phone as the camera. You just need to pay a few dollars to set up this. And actually, the camera on your phone is much better than most of webcams, okay? Uh, let me see. Uh, what is the score on average have you seen get students nominated for USNCO? Uh, I can only speak for a few local sections I know. Since, you know, uh, I'm in New Jersey, Princeton, right? So our local section in the past few years, the cutoff line is 40 to 42. It depends on, you know, years. So it's not a very uh, high cutoff, uh, but I know, you know, the North Jersey is slightly lower than us. Uh, and the Northeastern uh, basically is the, the, the Boston area. They are a little bit more competitive. They have a uh, higher, you know, cutoff, like 45. And one of the highest, as I know, is from the New York local section, because the low New York local sections, you know, includes a lot of, you know, schools, the, the whole uh, New York City, and, you know, and also a, a few kind of towns or cities in the Long Island. So their cutoff every year is around 48. So it really depends. Maybe, you know, in some other areas, it's even lower than 40. So it's, it's a, it really depends on which local section you are talking about. But I believe if you email your coordinator, uh, you probably will get a good sense from the coordinator. Because this is not a secret, right? You can also talk to the upperclassmen, you know, who prepare for the USNCO from your high school or from the same, you know, local section. I hope I answer your question. Okay, uh, there's another question. Uh, if there's only one participant in the USCO from the school, does the student automatically get into the national level? Um, probably not. I, I think you need to kind of, you know, uh, be higher than the cutoff and then you will qualify for the national exam. Uh, but I, I really cannot represent all of the local sections. Maybe some local sections use a different way in order to encourage more students to participate in the national exam. Uh, there is a one question about the student who finished AP CAN and is enrolled in organic CAN at high school. Uh, how useful will this course be for you? Uh, it depends. So now say if you have a very strong background in AP Chem, 
now say if you can get at least 55 plus in the local and 50 plus in the national i don't think you need to take my class because you know my class is trying to help the students to get 55 plus in the local and 50 plus in the national power one. so if you're already in this level i don't think you need to take it but other than that i do think this will be a good one for you because you know this probably uh i should say you know if you are really aim at that kind of level probably this will be the best class you can consider uh, let me see uh, whether i answer all of the questions here oh the price uh, the price uh, is nine hundred dollars uh, for everything for in the season one. Uh, Ten uh, online sessions, the graded problem sets, and also the mock test and the test analysis. Uh, so definitely, the info session today is completely free. Oh yeah, there's a question. Uh, student does not have any US NCO, you know, experience. Uh, is this the right level class for him or for her? Uh, the simple answer is yes. But probably uh, if you now say have a relatively limited background in chemistry, you might need to put a little bit more time, you know, during the process. But uh, the good thing is our class is kind of weekly based. So which means students should have enough time to review the lecture notes you know, after each class. So I will actually, I have a kind of reading assignment in the beginning of each uh, lecture notes. Let me quickly find my stuff, So, which is here. So I, I kind of refer to textbook, which are the most common used to us. The Zangdao, the ninth edition or the 10th edition, it doesn't matter. Uh, if uh, I can show you the cover of textbook later and all the Atkins. So these two textbook, you know, uh, I think they are both pretty good. Uh, if you have only one year of chemistry background, I will recommend you to use the Zangdao, which is relatively easy to, to read, easy to understand. But if you already kind of took AP Chem before, I will recommend you to go a little bit further, you know, use the Atkins. So my lecture notes, you know, combine a lot of different stuff from different textbooks, but I mainly refer to these two textbooks. Uh, let me see. Oh yeah, I definitely will provide the, the answer key of the problem sets, uh, but that will be after I finish the grading, after the students submit the, the problem set, and then I will share the answer key uh, with all of the students. Let me see, did I miss any more questions? Yeah, I think it seems like uh, I answered all of the questions. Let me know if I didn't answer your question. Hello, Dr. Shen, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, go um, ahead. Hi, Th thank you for the information. Uh, uh, no my question problem. Is, and my question is, um, there are a lot of uh, previous years um, local exam, uh, maybe yep. national exam, mm -hmm. how important to, to do some practice on, on those exams questions? Oh, prepare? definitely. Definitely, they are very important mm -hmm. because they are the best, you know, uh, prep materials. But typically, I will not include any question from the local or national in my problem sets because my problem sets is something extra, right? They can easily, freely get those materials by themselves and choose any time to work on that. Um, the best time zone for me to recommend a student to work on those questions definitely is after January if the student is the first year to prepare, you know, the, the test. So... So my suggestion is they finish 
the learning of most of the contents, and then they can start to work on that. So take the student in my camp team, for example, uh, typically I do not ask them to, you know, work on those questions before uh, January. So we will use the time from September to January to try to finish most of the stuff, at least, you know, one, uh, one time of systematic learning. And then they can now say, finish one test every day or, or several tests per week, right? And, you know, most of the test paper are not so useful for students to prepare the recent years of the exam because the test start to get harder from 2015. So if a student have limited time, we only need to work on the test paper from 2015 to 2020, which means six years of local exam paper and national part one, national part two. So basically less than 20 test papers in total. But if students have more time and they want to try more, they definitely can go back. But typically they will feel, wow, those tests are so easy after they practice the recent few years. Okay. Yeah. So basically, no. uh, your, your class up to January, you will finish most of the 10 topics? Uh, I think so. Probably we'll have organic left. Okay. Because organic is really a big part. Uh, you know, in college, <laughs> we use one full year to teach organic chemistry, right? So right now we need to squeeze, you know, the organic chemistry into a few weeks. Definitely, it's very hard. Uh, we don't need to talk all of them, but now say if a student is kind of targeting for the top 20, I should say the whole textbook, the whole full year of organic chemistry should be studied. But that is a different scenario, right? And, and you know, typically, if students have the preparation in that way, they definitely will, you know, put more time and probably they start earlier or put more time every week. Also, um, looks like this test that they have 110 minutes to do 60 questions. So the speed uh, to solve the problem is also important. So is um, that or the think you need a special training for that or it depends on yeah, uh, this is the, the something I will talk uh, in the season three, uh, kind of in the late February or early March, because I do not want students to practice too much kind of problem solving skills in the beginning. Uh, we should focus on the knowledge, uh, the understanding itself, because you know the problem solving skills are relatively easy to master. They just need to pay attention to a few stuff which they kind of, you know, typically do not pay attention to. So you are right, uh, the speed definitely is a, uh, a important factor for students to get a good score in the test. Local exam typically is okay because the time is relatively longer, right? 110 minutes, questions are relatively easier. Uh, definitely there are a few strategies. For example, you know, if this question is too hard, just skip it, do not kind of, you know, focus there, you know, for 10, 20, or even, you know, longer time. And also, you know, try to use the method of elimination. For example, for the four options, I can eliminate A and B, I, I need to just choose between C and D. So maybe I can just leave it here, but at least I can cross A and B first and leave C and D there. And later, after I finish everything, I still have time, I can go back. So the goal is not really to get full credit, right? Every year, there are really few students who can get 60 in the local exam. Maybe only a few students every year from the whole country. And national exam, I never heard of any student who got 60 in national power one. The highest I know is 59. That's already pretty high and typically, uh, yeah, one more thing for, for students who want to know a little bit more about the, the national awards. So since the top 150 students are only graded or evaluated by the part one, so we kind of have a national cutoff 
for the national power for the you know honor awards so that's pretty much kind of uh 42 points out of 60 42 points so if student got higher than 42 typically he or she can get the honor awards which means they are in the top 150 but every year it's not really 150 because they need to kind of pick up a cutoff but the student who got higher or equal to this cutoff may not be exactly 150. So sometimes it's 144, sometimes it's 151. Uh, let me see. Uh, when is my office hour? So the office hour is mainly will be uh, offline. So now say if we have a Google Classroom or we have a Discord server, so I will provide, Alex will help me as well, uh, a special channel for our students only to discuss questions there. So I will, you know, be very active in the in the channel or in the server or in the Google Classroom to answer the questions. It might not be kind of you, you raise the question, I immediate, immediately saw it and then answer the question. It might not be that way, but typically, definitely it will be less than, you know, one or two days. And even if I, you know, didn't find the time at that moment, I, I will invite a few TAs to join us. They are very enthusiastic about, you know, answering questions and help others. So besides this, if you have any other question, you do know now say you want to send me private, feel free, send, just send me email. The email is probably the best way, but I definitely will kind of make a platform. Right now, I'm thinking about Google Classroom or Discord server. I used to use Google Classroom, which works pretty well. Your Google Classroom is really a free, a good platform for the teacher, for the student to organize, to access the materials and to have question and answers there. And also everything kind of, you know, was left in the system. So no matter how long, you know, you took the class, you can still access those materials. I will leave the, uh, the Google Classroom for there forever if, if Google, you know, allows. Uh, Discord server, uh, there are some benefits, there are also some disadvantages. Uh, the major disadvantage I can think about is, it's kind of a little bit less organized. So for the old information, it's squeezed in the beginning. So you need to scroll up, 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 up to see you know, the previous information. So that is different from the Google Classroom, since you know, they are kind of designed for different purposes. Okay, great. Uh, if there is no more question, so I will, you know, end up the session here. Uh, once again, uh, thank you so much for all of you uh, to join me tonight. I hope, I hope, you know, I kind of, you know, cover the information, you know, you want to know and answer your question in a way, you know, you are expecting. Uh, feel free to further contact me, you know, after session, uh, no matter you choose my, you know, to, to take my class or, or not. Uh, if you want to know more details uh, about my class, you can also contact me or Alex or join our Discord server. Let me see, did I? Oh, Alex, it seems like I forgot to put the Discord server information here. Would you mind to copy and paste the link here for the Discord server? Yeah, sure, no problem. Yeah, I know, you know, young people, you know, uh, like Alex, you know, prefer to use Discord. Am I right, Alex? Uh, yeah. <laughs> One second. Okay, thank you. Uh, feel free to leave. Uh, if you, you already know the Discord, if you, you don't know and you would like to know, uh, just you know, stay there for a few seconds and Alex will find it and share with you. Oh, by the way, Alex, would you mind to stay here for a few minutes? Oh yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Alex. Oh, you sent to me privately. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, let me copy it. Let me copy it and share with everyone. So as you can see, the limitation for Zoom is, you know, the, the chat, if you do not copy and paste right now, it's gone. 
right? I can save the, the chat information, but it's not saved in your site, right? Yeah, I really hope, you know, I can get the opportunity to work with you, work with your kids, you know, in the, uh, in the school year, because I know this is really a challenging year, right? Uh, it's so crazy in the beginning of September. So this is why we kind of, you know, delay our original schedule a little bit. Okay, uh, so everyone, thank you again. Let's stop here. Uh, have a good night uh, if, you are, if you are California. Have a good evening. Uh, have a good afternoon. Bye bye, everyone. No problem. Thank you. Thank you.